Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Sanappa. So this video we will see what is MCCB and how we can do the uh, current setting in the MCCBs. Okay, so we all know what is MCCB, uh, molded case circuit breakers. Okay, so these breakers used to um, uh, trip the uh, load circuit when there is a fault. Okay, so we all <coughs> we all uh, connected this load circuit through this circuit breaker. Uh, when there is a um, uh, fault fault current or certain uh, uh, level of current increasing these breakers will sense and it will trip the uh, <coughs> circuit and it will uh, protect the equipments from the fault currents or the over current okay so uh, for this uh, tripping this breaker <coughs> we need to make the current setting and the mcb exactly okay then only these breakers will protect the uh, equipment from the fault current exactly okay so <coughs> uh, <coughs> there are uh, many different mccbs are available um, like mccb without setting mccb with setting up lsi lsi mccb with setting up setting up lsi g protection so different types of uh, mccb is available so um, so we know mccb how it is working but most of uh, our people they don't know how to make setting what are the <coughs> things we have to do to make some uh, level of current settings okay that we will do uh, that we will see in this video okay <laughs> So today we have on Schneider uh, Schneider brand <coughs> 400 ampere four pole MCCB okay with MicroLogic 2.3 okay so this MicroLogic 2.3 is having LSI <coughs> protections okay so <coughs> many of all of we know what is LSI G LSI LI LS okay so if you don't know uh i have posted one previous video okay you can check or i can explain you right now okay so now we will see shortly what is lsig protection okay so l l long current protection okay so this protection uh, this uh, protection level trip will uh, protect the equipment from the over current okay over current when over current will happen when there is a um, loose connection and where uh, when there is a uh, <coughs> little load increase or any mechanical jam uh, from load side okay so when there is uh, this kind of uh, issue happening so there will be a uh, you know a current uh, the equipment will take the current uh, beyond the limit okay so that kind of uh, protection uh, trip level is called long current protection or over current okay next yes yes means short current protection trip okay short current protection trip so this short current means uh, this will monitor the low level short circuit okay low level circuit short circuit means uh, small insulation fail or any phase or uh, neutral uh, short with a little uh, short with the earth or any um, uh, small level short circuit okay so this kind of uh, short circuit level is called short current okay short current trip protection okay so next is i instantaneous okay so instantaneous trip means this will for it this will monitor the high level short circuit uh, like uh, face to face directly short or face to uh, earth directly short okay uh, if it is motor uh, winding short okay so this kind of um short circuit is high level circuit so so when there is high level short circuit there will be a huge current uh, short circuit uh, current will flow so this will uh, this will be monitored and tripped by this instantaneous current trip okay so next is ground fault okay so is there any uh, short circuit between uh, phase to earth or any leakage from um, earth, earth fault okay this is ground fault also called earth fault okay so this kind of uh, trip uh, is called g okay so this is lsig basic protection used in the circuit breakers okay so today we have a uh, breaker with uh, LSI okay so we don't have breaker with uh, ground protection that we will see in next video okay so so today we will see how we can make <coughs> basic current settings in the LSI breakers okay so first we will see what are the settings available okay so this first knob so this first knob is 
uh, over current setting okay so this uh, io <coughs> over current settings okay io o i r i o okay so over current settings this is okay and this ir means this is a ratio ratio of this over current settings okay these two knob is belongs to over current settings okay so next is isd so this isd is short current protection okay so this knob is uh, used to do setting for the short circuit current setting okay and here this have <coughs> instantaneous current okay I, I small i and capital capital i 4800 ampere okay so this instantaneous don't have any current setting this is fixed settings of 4800 ampere that means full load current is 400 ampere 4800 divided by 400 okay that means 12 types of 12 times 12 times of uh, full current this this uh, over current and short current and instantaneous okay this don't have any time settings okay uh, some breaker is if, uh, if you go um, bigger level uh, breakers like uh, 800 ampere 1000 ampere mccb or acb those breaker will have uh, time settings also okay this also having time setting but it is fixed time setting okay and also this uh, circuit breakers uh, trip protection is working with inverse time current okay so what is inverse time current means when the breaker is sensing a low fault current low fault current the tripping time will will be little high okay so when there is a high fault current the timing will be uh, the tripping timing will be low so this is called inverse time current okay so this breaker is working with this inverse time current uh, method okay first we will see what are the how we can do the settings of this breakers okay now our full load current is our breaker full load current is 400 ampere okay so this uh, minimum setting is available with 160 to 140 okay and you can see the knob okay you can rotate the knob to some particular ratings only okay from 160 160, 180, 200, 230, 250, 280, 320, 360, 400. Okay, from 160 to 400, you can set as per this um, uh, tripping knob. Uh, sorry, selection knob. Okay, but <coughs> then if you want to set uh, like current uh, level now, if you want to set the current uh, current rating 180, okay, you can keep this knob in 180. Now. If you want to uh, set your current in 180, you can simply uh, turn the knob to 180. So the current set to the 180, okay. But what if you want to set your current rating in 190, okay? Because there is no settings available 190. But how we can set the 190? Then this ratio current knob is using, okay. So now if you want to set your current is 190, okay. So <coughs> turn your knob to 220 okay now your knob setting is 220 and here ratio current okay 220 into 0 0.95 sorry 200 into 0 0.95 equal 190 okay then this ratio current knob you can keep in 0.95 okay and this uh, over current knob is you can keep 200 and the ratio current knob you can keep in 0.95 okay 200 into 0.95 equal to 190 so now our current setting is 190 same thing you can do uh, from 160 into 0.9 okay 160 into 0.9 so for 400 ampere breaker you can make settings from 144 to 400 ampere okay if you select your uh, knob to 160 okay and ratio knob if it is set to 0.9 means that means 160 into point that means 160 
into 0.9 equal to 144 okay so our minimum setting is 144 from 144 to 400 ampere we can make the settings okay so i will tell you this is main current settings okay this is ratio if you set 180 and if you set here one that means it is set to 180 ampere but if you, if you set here 180 if you set here 0 0.9 that means 180 into 0.9 that means 162 ampere okay so if you turn to 0.95 then 180 into 0.95 171 okay so this is how you can set your wall current setting here okay so i hope you understood okay next is shock current protection okay you can see into ir okay so when you set here 190 into ir ir means this over current setting okay io plus ir equal to this ir here if you set here 200 ampere example 200 ampere now our current is set to 200 ampere you can see the main knob is 200 and this uh, ratio number is one that means 200 ampere if you keep here knob is two means that means two into 200 400 ampere our short current setting okay so these two is over current settings so this is short, short current setting okay so this ratio int over current setting okay if your over current setting is 200 if you keep here 5 that means it is 5 times of over current okay that means 5 into 200 1000 ampere is it, it is set to okay so this is how you can set your short circuit current setting okay and instantaneous is i told you it is fixed okay 4800 ampere that means 12 times of the full load current of the breaker okay or not full load current rated uh, <coughs> current of the breaker okay so this is these two is belongs to over current short current and uh, instantaneous okay so this micrologic two is with the lsi protection okay so i hope you understood uh, how we can what are the settings uh, for lsi and how you can do your uh, current settings for your breakers okay these current settings all belongs to <coughs> the connected load okay the how much load you have connected and when uh, how much current it should not go that means uh, what is the maximum uh, limit current you have to calculate everything then you can make the setting of this mccb okay so here one more setting is available for four pole okay so these settings uh, i will explain you in a different video okay so i hope you understood about uh, mccb and current setting and what is lsi lsi g protections levels okay so thanks for watching um, if you are new for my channel please do subscribe for more videos and you can watch my previous videos posted okay i used to post uh, videos related to electronics electrical plc and programming okay so if you are interested in uh, different subjects you can watch my <coughs> videos on playlist okay so i will meet you in the next video till then bye from senapa